Right guys, um, first things first, try and keep this as simple as possible. Um, it's not something I do re recording videos and messing with tech and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm doing it on Mac, uh, currently not too well at the moment, so it may sound a bit uh, croaky, but yeah, we'll uh, try as best. Now, I spent many hours last night... Um, going back in two with Carlos Usherwood, um, can't thank him enough for for all of the help and everything um, now I've seen people struggling with the grey and saw button when trying the APKs on the head unit, um, I think the best process of doing this is how you're, you're going to see it now, I don't think that making any shortcuts does you any favours Um so here we are, a uh, USB stick, um, can't really see that because of that, makes no difference though, uh, Scandis Cruiser 32 gig, um, I think it's a 2.0, uh, brought it for 6 quid out of Argos yesterday, I don't think the stick should matter, I do believe it's supposed to be lower than 32 gig though, could be wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, Anyway, plug that into the computer or your stick. Um, obviously on Mac, I can't show you how to format it on Windows if you're a Windows guy. Um, but I'm pretty sure if you're trying something like this, you probably know how to. If not, YouTube will have that video for you. But once you've formatted your files, well, your USB stick, sorry, um, open it up. It's empty, like so. Um, it's FAT32 it needs to be formatted to so once you've got that open up your internet type in CM Droid come over to, to here now you want to go in to tutorials downgrade DE firmware HRV in the middle open that up now here is the instructions of how to set this head unit up so that as soon as you've got everything right it'll just download everything onto the head unit it's absolutely no issues once you've done this basically this is downgrading the firmware of your FK2 head unit and getting it ready to install these apps first app up obviously goes um, the Honda permission on the right hand side once that's on there we download Open Droid Auto, which is in the middle, that's your Android Auto. So, anyway, we'll get to that. Here's your list of what you need to do in the first instance. So, in the car, reset factory default settings. So, let me just focus on that. So, yours will look a bit different to this, maybe, if you haven't done the downgrade yet but obviously I have so um, settings Android settings you should be able to find these on your head unit if it doesn't look like this anyway uh, scroll down to backup and reset factory data reset now click on that confirm everything that'll reset your head unit comes up with like a white H head unit reset um, once that resets done it should Look somewhere along the lines of, of this. Once that reset's done, come over to here. You've got your formatted USB plugged in. Now you go to option three, download firmware. When you click on there, opens up this file. Go to green, download. quite a far distance from the router so might take a few few seconds it's quite slow for a gig line but here we are I wouldn't be too worried about factory resetting that head unit because let's face it it's it's absolutely shocking it's worse than a course or anyway so we're not losing anything are we The reason for doing that, I believe, is just a fresh start, as is doing this process this way. 
it, it sort of, I would imagine it's sort of bulletproof from what I've been through to, to get to this stage doing it like this. So if we pay attention, we should be absolutely fine. Right, that's downloaded. Um, on your Windows PC or Mac, whichever you've got, the file will be there. Don't double click it and open it. Just leave it as it is. Click on it, drag it over to the USB stick that you've just formatted. That'll then obviously wipe it to your USB stick or write it to your USB stick, should I say. Whilst that's doing that, um, if we go back over to where we've just downloaded that from, go back. These instructions here, I can't tell you how important it is to follow them because if you don't, you could end up with some problems with your head unit. So as long as you follow them, exactly down to every single number there should be no issues so that file is writing to the USB stick the instructions for what's happened when that copies to that stick are all here so you factory reset your head unit with no stick and nothing, it's just there now, factory reset. What you do is, once that's wrote to your stick, you eject the stick, obviously buy the options, don't just unplug it, that's not, not what people do. Um, go on there, eject, I'm not gonna do it because it's still writing. Uh, take it out, plug it, I've got a right hand drive, I would plug it in the passenger side USB. I don't think it makes a difference, but apparently that is USB 1. Um, not too sure, but that's how I did it. Obviously, I've heard of people saying that both work, so that doesn't, doesn't really matter. Once you've plugged that stick back into there, you hold the power button at the top and your brightness button, which is the second from bottom you hold them two together for a couple of seconds the screen will go black again you get the white honda sign and, and whatnot and then it will inst it'll start installing the file off the usb stick that's right well, obviously mine's still writing it's so bloody slow out here but that will install that file onto the head unit then it takes a bit of time. Obviously, don't turn the car off while it's doing something like that. That could be catastrophic. Um, once that's written, it comes up on the screen. Um, you click continue. It says you you can now remove USB stick. Install complete. Pull the stick out. The screen will look like this. And you're ready for install both the apps and... And that is the best way of doing it. So, I hope yours copies a lot quicker than mine out in the car. So, you've got your head unit like this. In them instructions there, if you read them properly, it does say that once the head unit has restarted like this with its new firmware, you've got to go back into settings, back into your Android settings and then back up and reset and do another factory reset just make sure you do that just follow the instructions you can't go wrong so you'll do another factory reset it'll open up like this you've already unplugged your usb stick because it's just told you to on the screen so usb stick comes back up on your computer the file that you've just written to your head unit is in there you remove that completely. I would go into downloads where you've just got grab that file from and I would also remove that on your Windows as well or Mac just to stop any confusion in the future. So you've got an empty USB stick, you've done all of these units and now you go into apps 
permissions, HRV permissions. This is that Honda permissions app that's on the right hand side there. Obviously, you always won't have it on until you've done this. So go onto there, click on HRV permissions. That will download into your downloads. Honda App Center A1 APK, I'm sure you've read all the messages. We need to drag that over onto the stick. Just that in there, just in the root directory like this on the front page. Same again, eject. Eject the stick, take the stick out. You've got your home screen like this in the car. Plug the stick back in to whichever USB this time. Um, once it's in, go into menu. You should, if it's reading your stick in your car, there should be around about here a USB sign. So it says that it's reading your stick. Um, once that's plugged back in, you go down here to install app, green Android man. Obviously it's saying there, no file detected, please confirm USB. It's only saying that because I haven't plugged it back in, but obviously you will be plugging it back in. There's no need for me to do it because I've already done it, obviously. So that'll come up on there, and when it comes up on there, on your screen, it will say that Honda App Center A1. You install that to the car. <clears throat> Once that's been installed, you unplug the stick again from the car your screen will just look like this then if you go in there if it's been done right it should just say honda permission on the right hand side there now what you do from there is you come back over um, what you want to do is get the stick remove that Honda Permissions app that you've just put onto it. So it's fresh stick all over again. Then in the comments, I'll post this link. Um, I'm currently using it off the chat from Carlos. As it, once again, thanks very much for everything. This link's all over the chats on Facebook, so we shouldn't have a problem. Um, we go onto this link. It'll load up the screen. Now, a lot of people are having trouble finding this file. But it's down here on the right-hand side. It's 2.4.1. You click on that. Then from there, it shows here, Assets, Honda App Center A1 APK. Now, that is the same wording and everything as what you've you've just put on for the Honda permissions, but it's not, it's not the the same thing. So you'll click on that, it'll go up into your downloads, it's there again, Honda App Center A1, well there where it says dash three dot APK, that needs renaming from dash three APK to Honda App Center underscore A1 dot APK. So you've got that in your downloads. Get your empty step back up. Drag that file over into there. And you're good to go from there. So again, over, jet the USB over to the car, plug the USB in, come onto here, same again, into menu, green, install app. It should show in there, open Droid Auto, but obviously it'll just say Honda App Center. Install that. Then once you've installed that, you go onto the add unit, Honda permission. On the left hand side here, 
these are the permissions for the app I believe uh, so I've been told you go into process controls on this process control screen you press the plus to add and then so I'll just get this up This is the last step, it's just adding the permissions and it's changing the settings so that the volume sort of works and all that kind of stuff. So here you've got new process control. So, the settings for this are process name is IT, this is all lowercase, IT dot SMG dot HU. Package name is the same, IT dot SMG dot HU. Then you scroll down, authorization type is third party app type is other you don't need to touch the video off or video out sorry anything like that where it says there sound out you click on that and then your last mode you click on that as well once you've done them you click on save and it will go back to that screen that's that's no problem click back again and you're good to go your android auto will be there under permissions apps there you don't really have to mess with that under permissions app um open droid auto obviously plug your phone in by usb it'll come up on the screen and yeah you're good to go at that um i'll stick a couple of links in the comments I'm sure some of the Windows guys can help you out to format it. Um, if not, then it'll be on the internet. But other than that, guys, that was how I did it. And any questions, let me know. Cheers.